Are you going to EDC Las Vegas? As you plan for your trip, I want to help you be aware of some five common scams and ripoffs that you may be vulnerable to. Number one, be aware of fake ticket vendors. You should only buy tickets for EDC Las Vegas from the official EDC Las Vegas website or a trusted friend. Buying from any other third party source could get you a fake ticket or not get you a ticket at all. In 2019, a group of us decided to go to EDC on day three and we purchased previously worn and used wristbands from a guy selling them online. We met him at Luxor and at the time he was wearing a dozen plus wristbands on each arm. Once we had the tickets, we still weren't 100% sure if they would work. That was honestly the biggest issue. The original ticket holder could still replace their wristband if they wanted to, but hopefully they were on their way home already. We were worried the whole way to the festival, but thankfully we all got in. But that's not a situation I would recommend unless you're getting the wristband from a trusted friend. Number two. Watch out for random people who are selling counterfeit merchandise. If you want to get your hands on some official EDC Vegas merch, make sure you're buying it from the official vendor inside the festival. That is, unless you want to save money and get some unofficial merch. Number three, be aware of accommodation scams. Third party companies might claim to be partnered with EDC Las Vegas offering special discounts or pricing. As of 2023, there's only one official EDC hotel in Las Vegas and that is currently at Resorts World. Real quick, if you are finding value in this video, please hit that subscribe button. I post a lot of EDC Vegas content and other rave tips and tricks that will help you have a sick time at your next event. Number four, watch out for transportation scams. There are some unofficial shuttle buses running from the Strip to the Las Vegas Speedway. These buses do not take the same route as the official EDC shuttles and you may get stuck in traffic or dropped off in an awkward spot. Finally, number five, be aware of theft attempts, particularly pickpocketing. Keep your valuables with you at all times and it's best to keep your phone in a bag when you're out and about at the festival. I recommend buying a lunchbox bag. They are theft proof and the people that design the bag are ravers too, so they know the challenge we face at the event. No matter what happens, don't forget to have fun and enjoy your time at EDC Las Vegas this year. Be on the lookout for these scams and ripoffs and be sure to keep yourself safe. That way, you'll be able to make the most of your time at EDC Las Vegas. Subscribe, like, comment down below. I'm Joe, your rave tour guide. Thanks for watching and enjoy the festival.